Dear Kyle. 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 Words could never fully express how thankful we are for everything you've done for our family. I'll never forget the first time we met you. Anton had been in the hospital for over 100 days and it was finally discharge day. His doctors told him he could go home and Anton burst into tears and said, but I was gonna meet the Vikings. They of course said he could wait and stay to meet you guys. And he was beyond excited. I'll never forget the look on his face and the happy squeal he let out when we opened the door to his hospital room to greet you guys. My brother, Anton, loved you. You meant a lot to Anton, which means a lot to me. Every time someone said Vikings or Kyle, Anton's face would light up the whole room. Every day at the hospital was pain for Anton, but he always seemed happy, especially when you walked through the door. When asked if Anton liked Spider-Man, he said, no, just the Vikings. All the heartache melted away the moment he met you. Anton was in his stroller, and he said in a very manipulative but cute way, I would love to go to one of your games. It was the first time since moving to Minnesota for Anton's bone marrow transplant that we were able to walk away from all the medical stuff and just enjoy hanging out as a family. We got to sit in a suite, and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. I kind of felt royal. Anton would yell every time something would happen. I have a feeling he didn't know the rules, but was still really into it. We laughed and cheered and ate more than we should have. It's one of my favorite memories of our time in Minnesota and the last outing we had as a family before Anton passed away. You gave us a gift that we'll carry with us for the rest of our lives. What game do we go to? <laughs> go by. Anton, who won? After the game, Anton got really sick really fast. I'll never forget when you walked in and we told Anton that you were there. He opened his eyes and gave the sweetest little smile. There was no media there. You didn't post it all over social media. You just came to love on our family and our sweet boy. Anton never got to have a wish granted because his sweet life was shorter than any of us anticipated. But I can assure you that everything that you did for him was far beyond anything he could have asked for. Kyle, you stepped into hard places, loved on our boy and our entire family, and in doing so changed all of our lives forever. My son Jeffrey, now 23, was born with spina bifida. He has always loved watching sports and growing up. I finally remember Kyle walking over at one football game and giving Jeffrey his gloves. From then on, Jeffrey wore them to every game. A lot of kids, one in high school, would ignore, snub, or walk away from kids like Jeffrey, but not Kyle. So of course, when Kyle was drafted in the NFL, we didn't expect the big NFL player to have time for our son or to keep his number in his phone. But again, we were wrong. He still responds to his texts and texts Jeffrey to this day. He has sent him tickets to games, autographed balls, pictures, and posters. But what means the most to Jeffrey is the text, the contact, makes his day, makes his week. Seeing the 82 jersey around our community means something because Kyle is a role model that parents relish for their children. Still gives me chills thinking about it. Big man, thanks for turning out the way you did. Kyle, here we are, married with children of our own and spending our Tuesdays doing charitable work as a family. It is a day I very much cherish and look forward to weekly, and I think it's safe to say that that place absolutely has our hearts. Kyle, you have touched the hearts and souls of thousands at our hospital. You have become the drive for many of our patients to fight to live another day in hopes that they get the chance to see you outside of their hospital room. I have seen you here at the hospital many times, but the biggest impact you had on me was last fall when one of our patients on the postpartum unit reached out to Jordan regarding the delivery of her premature twins. You took time to come up to the patient's room to surprise her and her husband and spent time with them reminiscing and listening to them tell you about the unexpected birth of their premature twin boys. You made such an impact on the life of this family, but you also made an amazing impact on the staff. You embody what we envision as an ideal Viking through your on-field accomplishments and off-field commitments to young people facing extreme adversity. It is clear that the gifts of your time, financial resources, and vision come directly from your heart. Yeah, my name is Edwin Jaroge and I'm Nathan's dad. Dear Kyle, here is a picture of when we first met. It is one of my favorite memories with you. You are an amazing 
role model. You do great community work, which is inspiring to the biking nations and beyond. You are a great motivator. You help people keep pushing on and getting the job done. To top it all, you created a place where people can interact by Nathan Jaroge. Thank you. November 2011, you had your first hospital visit. Your comment to me that day will stick with me forever. I know what these patients, siblings, and families are going through. And when it's my time, I want to make the biggest impact I can for this community. And even more importantly, give back to these patients and families that are battling every day. Thank you for making the Cal Rudolph end zone. I loved it. I love that you think about others. It was your ambitious dreams that made the end zone come to life. Now to go to the hospital and see it being used is an absolute dream come true for you and I. Cooper becomes a different kid when he visits. He doesn't have anxiety about which doctor will come in the door next or what procedure will come next. Now we try to come early or stay late after his treatments so he can play in the end zone. To have a place for kids to escape and give them space so they can just be themselves is amazing. Because trust me, I know how it feels to be in a room with a bunch of nurses and doctors that only your parents know. They see it as an escape. You hear them say, I have to go back to the hospital just to go to Kyle's end zone. Kyle. You are one of the kindest, most humble, and compassionate people. You blessed our family. I don't know how to thank you, but I will keep trying until I get it right. Guys like Kyle don't come around very often. You're a great person, and we love you so much. In my eyes, you are a true hero. A genuine superstar. Your willingness and enthusiasm brings hope and motivates so many. We look out to the skyline of Minneapolis and U.S. Bank Stadium with pride and passion for the Minnesota Vikings and you. Kyle are a huge reason for that. You're Superman, Kyle. Not only to me and our girls, but to those kids. We have always and will always be blown away by the generosity and kindness you have shown our family. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, Kyle. Sincerely, the Wilbur family. Sincerely, Cindy Osborne. All my love. From Judah. From Kenya. And as Anton would say, boo packers, they're stinky. Love the Delgado family.